Hi, my name is Jason. Let's connect the dots. In this video, I'd like to show you how to set the shoulder bump setting on your resizing die with two methods. First, by using measurements, and second, by using bolt drop. The goal in resizing the rifle case is to size the case just enough to allow the case to be safely and easily chambered, but not so much that it causes unneeded work hardening and case growth. Bumping the shoulder back is a key piece of this resizing puzzle. On competition brass, I shoot for 5 tenths to 1 thousandths shoulder bump. On hunting brass, anywhere between 1 and 2 thousandths will work. To check the shoulder bump setting uh, using measurements, you will need a chamber gauge, which your gunsmith can make you, or Hornaday sells a headspace gauge that works in the same way. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure a fired case. This case has not been resized. And I'm right at 40, 48 thousandths. I'm going to resize this case. And now I'm simply going to measure that same resized case in the chamber gauge. And I'm at just a little bit over 47 thousandths. So I would say anywhere between 7 and 8 tenths is what I'm resizing that case. I'm bumping the shoulder back seven to eight tenths, which is what I want. On a competition rifle, I want anywhere between half to one thousandths. On a hunting rifle, I want anywhere between one and two thousandths shoulder bump. Two thousandths would be the absolute maximum. To check your shoulder bump setting on your resizing die by using bolt drop, the first thing we have to do is remove the firing pin from your bolt. On the bat three lug, I can do that just with my hands. If you have a different uh, bolt, you might need a firing pin extraction tool such as this to make that happen. First thing I want to do is I want to get my zero measurement. So this is my minimum. There's no case in there. That bolt just freely falls. I have a fired case. This case has not been resized. And this is going to be my maximum value. You can see that it takes quite a bit of force to close that bolt. So, minimum value. Maximum value. Now I'm going to resize this case. And what I'm looking for is force that's quite a bit less than my maximum value, but a little bit more than my minimum value. So you can see the bolt doesn't freely fall, but it does fall a little ways. And then it takes very little force to make that bolt drop. So it's, again, it's more force than just my minimum value, but this is quite a bit less force than my maximum value. Using those two methods, we now know if we are properly bumping the shoulder back on our resized case. The round can be safely and easily chambered, yet resist work hardening and case growth. Thanks for watching.